yeah I think one thing about that is you have to do it yourself I think some people like maybe think it's going to come to them or you know I'll get to this level and I'll have people reaching out to me or whatever I very much like do think I did a good job at actually just picking the people I wanted and asking them and making sure they like I see them often and that type of thing so I'm I'm really happy with like the people I work with and you know they're yeah they've just given me great buy-in but I also like I did have to take the time to like individually you know like and it came to me but you know I would have went to end if I wasn't happy with him or whatever so like you know he's one side then me and Donny started working together and I make sure Donny and Enda then speak even though they have no connection outside of that I, I make sure that them two are on the same page with uh, you know with each other and then like my massage therapist Tom is so good as well and like I put him in touch with Donny so like he knows you know anything that's bothering me uh, or that's tight like Donny is then working at so they're in touch even though they wouldn't have known each other outside of that and then I work with Jessie as well, Jessie Barr for sports psychology. And then she would then be in touch with Enda. So as I said, I can be a bit of a pushy athlete. So yeah, you have to create that team like around you. And, you know, they're also willing to work, work with each other and they love it. But you do have to create that yourself as an athlete, I think, and not just wait for it to come to come to you.